Good morning, good morning. It is 4.45 a.m. I'm an early riser. This is for President Trump. This is for the Department of Justice. This is for the Inspector General of Baltimore City, the Inspector General of the State of Maryland, and the Inspector General in Washington, D.C. Social media for social change. I keep writing y'all, keep contacting y'all, and nobody want to do nothing. I'm an honorably discharged veteran of the United States Navy. I'm a taxpaying citizen of the United States of America. I'm a black man living in white America. I'm a whistleblower. I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm a businessman. And this is how I'm gonna handle my business, man. Y'all made me famous for toilets, right? On Feb. February the 2nd, 2011. On February the 2nd, 2011, my mother died. See that? My mother died. And on February the 11th, the 2nd, 2011, I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger, Governor O'Malley, and 52 politicians. I blew the whistle on 52 politicians because I was showing you about the, the art of getting money. You feel me? I was showing you about the art of getting money. I was showing you how convicts, the lawyers called confessions, coerce. And I was going to file a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit about the war on drugs, stop and frisk, and zero tolerance. I had a $54 million lawsuit in Baltimore City against Governor O'Malley, Bank of America, SunTrust Bank, and Insurance Incorporation. Frank Conway destroyed that evidence. Everything I'm telling you is on file. Social media for social change, and it's a digital underground. You feel me? It's a digital underground. Now you take these di these DVDs, and you can take this right here. It's a converter, all right? To dismantle a master's house, you got to use the master's tool. So I use a, a computer cameras, cell phones, same thing that you use against me, I use for me. And I use the Constitution, and I'm going to use the courts. Under Senate Bill 374, I'm going to use the courts. We're going to play these tapes. Vegas. All right, that's Las Vegas. We're going to play these tapes. It's part of my whistleblower. See, when y'all kidnapped me, you took my truck, you took my computer, you took videotapes, you took hard drives, you took an external hard drive, you took a diary, you took a military diary from uh, when I was in the United States Navy, when I was doing what I was doing in the Navy. Zero tolerance, stop and frisk. Don't ask, don't tell, ain't just for gays in the military. I was doing a lot of shit in the military. I was 17 years old. I was in the military during Iran Contras. I learned how to be a drug dealer and a criminal. All right. I got it all on tape. I got a lot of stuff on tape. I bought me a new camera. See? Got me a new camera. Turn the shot because the government done uh, stuck it with a virus. So I got to clean it up, make sure it's right. This is my following on uh, Twitter. All right. See that? That's how I'm hitting y'all on Twitter. This is my followers. So I'm not in this by myself and people are paying attention. They wonder why the news ain't telling the story. Because I told y'all, I didn't need y'all. I a news agency, my own distribution network. I know what I'm doing. I'm very well, I know what I'm doing. I'm good at what I do. I know y'all. I got my own videos. Got my own tapes. That's the Vegas tapes. This is my mama's tape. This is my mama's tape. You feel me? This is Patrick Fitzgerald, Governor Brown, Governor O'Malley. This is WBAL, Mia Nichols. This is New York. 
All right. Like I said, I was making a movie in a documentary. I didn't use the toilet to do it. When it's about the 13th Amendment. All right. Neither slavery nor voluntary servitude. You feel me? I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Dred Scott was the catalyst for the Civil War because Dred Scott sued for his freedom. So just like Dred Scott sued for his freedom, I'm going to sue for mine. Taking all this shit to the Supreme Court. I'm going to take all this shit to the Supreme Court. My political soapbox. All right. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. It's called checks and balances. So we're gonna check your you gonna check your your courts. This is for Donald Trump. Since y'all had a whistleblower on Donald Trump, this is President Obama, President Trump. It's for a federal investigation. You feel me? We clear on that. So everything that Congressman Cummings got, since Congressman Cummings is uh, head of the House Oversight Committee, and the Oversight Committee is oversight, part of their oversight is the prison industry. Well, we're going to have to have a grand jury investigation in the Baltimore City, Baltimore County's prison industry, the state of Illinois and in Maryland's prison industry, because that's what this is all about. It's background material. I got videos, I got SD cards, I got camera, I got supporters of shorties. This is from 2010, this is before y'all locked me up. This is what Schellenberger turned over to me. Yeah, Schellenberger had this, truth versus lies. And I got this, the inauguration of 2008. Like I said, I'm a whistleblower. So when I go to Donald Trump and I blow the whistle, I'm gonna give him this card because y'all received this in 2018. You received it. I came to the county council and I told him what I was gonna do. Now you go to the county council today, tonight. I will be there at 6.30. They're gonna talk about the housing, section eight housing. But well, I'm gonna talk about the prison industry and Scott Schellenberger. We're going to talk about racism in the housing. We're going to talk about racism in your courts and in your government. Got that? Almost a year, and I told y'all what I was going to do to y'all. You feel me? You have evidence and knowledge of corruption and racism in Baltimore City and Baltimore County courts. This is the Board of Elections, 2015. Y'all tried to get me locked up for running for office. I ran as an indigent. I didn't have to pay nothing. I never paid nothing. I ain't going to pay nothing. I ran as an indigent. So on that note, delinquent, what it says, delinquent report. All right, on this delinquent report, y'all charged me. We wouldn't clear it all mine up, but I made a complaint and I made a verbal complaint. Now I'm going to make a video complaint. Aisha Khan ran against Delegate Sidnor. All right, I told Sidnor all this. I told Sidnor about them kidnapping me. I told Sidnor everything. And Sidnor ain't did nothing for Black Baltimore County. He's sitting on the board with Schellenberger, and Schellenberger is the one that's locking up Black Baltimore County. Y'all do this housing thing and y'all give section eight to these black people and these black people move into these white communities, you're gonna have those white neighbors calling the police and the police are gonna start locking up those section eight voucher holders. That's what y'all gonna do. You're gonna lock them up and you're gonna lock them up for vagrancy, uh, disorderly conduct, uh, loud music, uh, abusive behavior. You're gonna get them for anything that you can to get them out of that housing and to get them into Baltimore County's courts. That's what you're going to do. So when you're at this meeting tonight and I come to there and talk, I'm going to bring this with me. We're going to talk about the Democratic Party and their money in the machine. I'm going to talk about how you generate money in the machine. You feel me? 
Because this is the certificate of identity. Because when y'all locked me up, y'all made me homeless. You took all my property from me. I need a universal ID, and I can't get a universal ID unless the state gives me my property back. My, my birth certificate, my DD-214s, my social security card. Y'all made me homeless. That's certified, see that? It's certified. You also robbed a nonprofit. You see that? You stole from a nonprofit. You stole from a nonprofit because my store was financing my nonprofit, my shorties program, Governor O'Malley approved a program in 2006. It was a ceasefire program. It was about stopping the guns, the gangs, and the violence. Long before you had the ceasefire program that you got now, you had a ceasefire program in 2006. This was it. You locked up a whistleblower. You stole money from a nonprofit. You, you, you got a lot of problems on your hands. It's Marilyn Mosby. All right. Marilyn Mosby got to toss more than 800 cases. Marilyn Mosby got to toss all the cases she ever touched. Scott Schellenberger going to have to talk, going to have to toss all the cases he touched since 2006. Cause like I said, I'm a whistleblower and I gave Marilyn Mosby this information at the NAACP in 2014. Brian Baith was there. John Cardins was there. Brian Frost was there. I was there cause I was running for office. I ain't just running my mouth. You are going to have to disbar Scott Schellenberger. Reverse and remand over 10,000 cases that Scott Schellenberger has. It's called Scott Schellenberger kidnapped me. He abused the powers of his office on retaliatory prosecution because I'm a black Republican and I blew the whistle on him. I blew the whistle on him on February the 2nd, 2011. Five days after I blew the whistle, he charged me with terrorism. He charged me with the murder of Scott Greenberg. He charged me with theft of property. And he stole my property. Now, I charged Scott Schellenberg. I gave y'all criminal charges. The Department of Justice got it. If you look on this email, everybody on this email is involved. That's knowledge. So when I blow the whistle, everything that I'm blowing the whistle on, turn it over to President Trump. It's a reentry program because President Trump is running a second chance program. Well, I'm going to submit my reentry program for the second chance program. You go to Rod Rosenstein, you go to Alan Locks, you go to Mr. Davis, you feel me? You go to these individuals, Perez, Capelhoff, and Hardens, they got all that. This is my war room. The same way that you break down a criminal enterprise, the same way that you go after gang members. Dog, I went after y'all because y'all a gang. Y'all a white gorilla gang. And I broke you down. I broke you down all the way down, all the way down to the money. Peter Frankot don't give me an audit and he running for office. Like I said, I'm a whistleblower. I'm out $2.6 million. My birthday is December the 26th. I'll be 60 years old. I'm ready to retire. You are fucking with my retirement. Jake Davis, James Hammond, Dwayne Gerald Davis Jr., Deron Battle, Michael Coons, and whoever else is sitting in that cash register need to go to jail for fraud and income tax evasion because with no taxes paid. Paul Weinblatt needs to be charged criminally because he was my accountant. He had no right to engage in any conversation with my son when I was incarcerated. He had no, no right to do anything. He should have shut my business down. Kept running it. You went in my mailbox. The mailbox had keys. It was locked. That's a federal offense. Mail fraud is a federal offense. So Scott Schellenberger, Jake Davis, James Hammond, criminal charges. I'm a whistleblower. You locked me up because I blew the whistle on my son and blew the whistle on your courts. Do what you do, but I'm sending this shit to Trump. Baltimore, rewired. Y'all sent all them brothers to jail for the stop snitching video? We're going to see how many white people go to jail for incarcerating a whistleblower. We're going to see if Adrian Jones is going to open up her mouth. 
we're gonna see a signal open up his mouth because like i said i documented everything i had to reshoot all the footage that y'all stole from me we went from tapes to cell phones Periscope. See that? That's Periscope. I can go all over the world. My shit go everywhere. I'm starting to get hits and spots. You feel me? Twitter. What about them ravens? All right. Now, if you go to this lady right here, Christina. Go get the interview I did with Christina about a year ago at the last elections. All right, we're going to talk about your politics. That's Twitter. And this is Facebook. All right. Welcome to the shit show. Welcome to the shit show. And I got a lot of shit to show you. And turn sugar to shit and shit to sugar and have fun doing it. Say that fast because I'm getting ready to dig in your ass. People are sharing my videos. Social media for social change. You feel me? Feel me? You can ban me. You can do whatever you want. You can't stop me. I'm deep in the streets and everybody know me. Everybody know I want Scott Schellenberger. You're going to have to reverse and remand over 10,000 cases. Like I said, I am Dred Scott. I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger over 10 years ago. So everything from 2006 to this present date is going to be reversed and remanded. I'm going to get anybody that ever been incarcerated in Baltimore County to file a class action lawsuit because Baltimore County ain't under the dissent decree. They're not. So we're going to start going through your criminal cases and we're going to put black cases and white cases and we're going to balance them out. We're going to show you how you go after black people and Hispanics. And I got a jailhouse diary to prove everything. I'm a whistleblower. You should have let me bury my mama. You should let me bury my mama and let me go out and move to Vegas and I'd have been gone. You created this situation. Now you got to deal with it. I finished my fights. I don't quit. I'm not a quitter. So when you see Schellenberger, when you see Greg Bernstein, when you see Marilyn Mosby, when you see Brandon Scott, when you see Tony Bridges, when you see any of O'Malley's or my machine replacements, Tell them I'm coming. I don't bite my tongue and I don't, I don't, I don't bite my tongue. And whatever I say on Facebook, I say it to your face and you got it on paper. I put it on film. Smile, click, aim and shoot. This is my camera. This is my gun. Click, aim and shoot. I'm going to watch you run. Cause I'm going to ask you questions that you don't want to answer. It's election year. And T.J. Smith got a lot of, a lot of, T.J. Smith is not the candidate. T.J. Smith is the 2000 version of DeRay McKenzie. That's real shit. So when T.J. Smith has his next event, invite me to it. Let me have a conversation right there one-on-one. -on -one. And we're going to see if T.J. Smith holds up. Because like I said, I'm a whistleblower. And he's been sitting on this shit since Davis came to town. Chief Hyatt been holding this because she was in the room. Give me liberty or give me death. And I ain't scared of dying. So I'm taking my liberty. It's five o'clock in the morning. You got 12 hours and I'll be in Towson. Between them 12 hours, figure out what you're going to do to me. Figure out what you're going to do with me because you ain't going to do nothing to me. I'm a whistleblower and I'm going to enjoy the same whistleblower protections that you're giving that white lady in Washington, D.C. 
Everything that Congressman Cummings got, you got to turn over to President Trump. Everything that Grassley got, you got to turn over to President Trump. Everything that Cardin's got, got to turn over to President Trump. Everything Van Halen got, got to turn over to President Trump. I'm a whistleblower. I want to speak in front of the House Judiciary Committee, the Senate Judiciary Committee, about the war on drugs, about police brutality, about corruption in your courts. I'm a whistleblower. <laughs> you like it or not. You feel me? That's my Community Verizon Award. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I'm throwing bricks, bitch. Brick by brick. I'm going to build you up the ways that you tore me down. So like I said, U.S. Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, Alan Locks, Ronald Davis, Eric Holder, Patrick Fitzgerald, get my paperwork and give it to President Trump. Because what you ain't got, WBAL do.